Okay, it's time now to look at the sixth and final general page in the center window uh, under the tab global. So this is the global settings page and it controls a lot of um, and it controls some of the global parameters of the preset as well as giving you some randomization options. So let's go through each of these and talk about how how they work. On the left side you'll see uh, there is a global tune box and this is represented in a numerical value with semitones and cents so uh, if I double click I can reset this to zero or I can change the global tune. And this is nice if you uh, are working in a song and you need to transpose quickly you can just bump this up if you're changing the key for example. You can also um, change the internal clock beats per minute um, which is by default set to 120 beats per minute um, but you can uh, you can change this here so you can play that that um, that applies to your sequencers or uh, for example the synced up rates ratios within your modulation sources and double double clicking this box will reset it to 120 uh, below this preset beats per minute box you have a reset button that will reset the internal clock and when external sync is selected um, then the plugin will sync up with the clock in your host DAW. Below that you have the stop hold envelope section. So what does that mean? Well on our envelope if you remember it was a while ago but you have these settings up here, the gate, one shot, and hold. So gate means if I strike a key and let go, uh, the sound will stop regardless of where I am over the course of this envelope. One shot means if I strike a key and let go immediately, um, it will go over the entire course of the envelope regardless of how long I strike the key for. So you can hear that like that. With the hold button, um, when the hold button is selected, the envelope will remain in the sustained phase of the envelope. So if I strike a key and let go, you'll hear it just continues. So I can manually stop this back in the global page by clicking that button, or I can have it stop on the sequencer stop. Um, we're going to talk about these randomization effects uh, in a moment, but first let's just get through this global and preset quality. So the preset quality is local to the um, particular preset that you're dealing with. You can choose ultra quality, high quality, or economic mm -hmm. quality. Mm -hmm. I, I like setting it down to um, economic just because um, I want my computer to work. <laughs> You can also change the global quality that is um, applied to all plug all all presets um, when you are um, you know switching between different presets. You can you can assign the quality here, or you can just use the preset setting by clicking this box, which will apply the global quality to this preset setting. Okay, so those are some of the uh, global parameters. Now we also have um, in the center here some randomization options and these are a lot of fun. So over here um, we have a um, sort of randomization matrix and you can select these different boxes to adjust um, certain parameters with a randomization engine. So here we have our um, randomization mm -hmm. option list. Parameter modulation depth, connections, type selection, and the matrix. So what do each of these do? Um, the parameter box will, mo will randomize uh, different parameters, basically the knobs um, in the synth. So um, this is what my just original sound sounds like. And then if I select the parameter and click the randomize, you'll hear some of my pitch parameters changed, some of the uh, wavetable positions, filter parameters changed, 
and I can click it a few times to make some different changes. Since I don't have, let's let's pull up a filter to really a couple filters and effects to see how this really makes a difference. And then let's click randomize a couple times. Okay, so you can hear how that changed, and I can randomize again. Alright, I'm going to select new sound. I can also randomize the modulation depth. So let's say I take LFO number 5 and put it over here in my wavetable position. And I go back to the global page. I can randomize well, and let's throw a couple more in here just to, just for fun. Okay. I can also randomize that modulation depth or the range over which these uh, modulation sources are uh, modulating the parameters. So you can see those rings change in size. Just like that. Okay. The connections menu option will randomize um, a modulation source for a parameter, meaning it will choose an available um, modulation source and apply it to certain parameters. Okay, so we need to drop an LFO in here, for example, an envelope up here. Okay, now when I click randomize, you'll see some other available modulation sources applied. Take some macro controls, some other LFOs. Just like that. Okay, moving down now on to type select. Rather than modulate, rather than Rather than randomizing the parameter or the knob position, the type select menu option will randomize the drop down type of whether it's the ops oscillator or the filter. So when I click randomize here, you'll see I have some filter types that are thrown in, even the FX types, um, and the noise types, okay? So you can randomize that, and I can click it several times and just come up with some different random um, types. The matrix menu option will randomize this matrix in the modulation oscillator, which you're going to have to have turned on. But if I click randomize, then it's going to create some different, um, some different matrix selections for the modulation oscillator. You can see that there. So down here, I can copy and paste certain settings in my randomization menu. Now with all of that, uh, we are randomizing all of the particular uh, modules in Massive, whether that's oscillator, filter, effects, inserts, noise. Okay. Um, here to the right of these menu options, I can select individual modules to randomize. And I have a percentage field here. Uh, which it refers to the percentage of randomization. For example, 100% is an extreme randomization, and you know 5% is a very subtle randomization. Here's my randomization button to activate it. So, um, for example, I can select parameter, and then I can only randomize. Let's start a new sound. I can select parameter and I can only randomize the oscillator parameter and not the filter parameters by clicking this button. You'll see those oscillator parameters change. Similarly, I can random randomize the filter parameters here by clicking this button. I can randomize the insert effects. Down here they're moving or the master effects up here. I also have the option of keeping the oscillator pitch right here, which is nice because 
sometimes you don't really want to randomize that because then that will change obviously the pitch of the note that you're playing. So that's a, this is a good way to um, create some cool randomization but still maintain the tonality of what you're working with. So I can um, randomize the parameters here with keeping the oscillator pitch. And let's move this up to about 40%. So I can have some fun finding some, some uh, random parameters there. I can also change this to type select as well. So now I'm randomizing not only the parameter of these knobs in the oscillators, but I'm also randomizing the type. And that's a good way to just get inspired with starting a sound. Uh, you just kind of click this random button and, and figure out something interesting to start with. But I'm keeping the pitch so I don't have to worry about messing up my pitch. Same thing you can do, you can, and, and then you can do the same thing with the insert effects and the master effects. You also have copy and paste functionality for each of those. So quickly let's try starting a new sound and let's just play with some of these randomization options to generate a really interesting new sound. So I'm going to make sure that oscillator pitch is selected. Here's my normal sound and I'm going to select all of these uh, randomization options and let's just move through this to try to get to something cool. Let's put a couple of modulation sources in here. So that just shows you how using the randomization you can uh, you can find some really interesting sounds and kind of get inspired to um, to build something from that and then you can you can start tweaking some of these parameters um, and um, having fun with that. And then once you like something, you can go ahead and save it. And then you have very quickly created a new preset for yourself. All right, so now we have tackled the global general page in the center window. And it is time now to move on to the next lecture. Thanks, see you there.